bad eyesight. The scientist L. R. Croft suggested that bad eyesight undid the dinosaurs. Croft put forth the theory that dinosaurs develop bizarre ornaments in an effort to shield their eyes from cataracts caused by harsh sunlight. In the world warmed by harsh sunlight, though, Croft expected that even these evolutionary attempts to shade dinosaur eyes failed, and that the creatures started to go blind before they hit sexual maturity. However, this theory lacks empirical evidence and fails to explain the extinction of non-dinosaur species during the same period. Asteroid Impact Theory This widely accepted theory suggests that a large asteroid or comet impact, such as the Chicxulub impact, caused catastrophic environmental changes. This impact resulted in tsunamis, wildfires, and a nuclear winter effect due to debris blocking sunlight leading to a significant disruption of ecosystems and ultimately the mass extinction event known as the KPG extinction. High levels of iridium in the KPG boundary layer, shocked quartz, and spherules formed from vaporized material provide evidence supporting this theory. Climate change. Gradual changes in climate over time, including shifts in temperature, sea levels, and habitat availability, might have made the environment less hospitable for dinosaurs. These changes could have contributed to their decline and eventual extinction. Geological records show evidence of changing sea levels and temperatures during the late Cretaceous, supporting this theory. Too many males, Sherman Silber proposed that climate change might have led to the production of only one sex of dinosaurs due to temperature-dependent sex determination. However, this theory lacks evidence and contradicts the survival of temperature-dependent reptiles such as crocodiles. Competition from mammals Some theories suggest that rising populations of mammals might have competed with dinosaurs for resources, gradually leading to their decline. However, the impact of mammals on dinosaur extinction is debated due to the small size of mammals during the Mesozoic era. Gigantism this theory suggests that dinosaurs may have become too large to sustain their populations effectively, leading to increased resource demands and vulnerability to environmental changes. Some researchers even proposed that dinosaurs were dumb because they invested too much of their internal energies in growing huge and fierce. However, there's no direct evidence that gigantism led to extinction since the theory does not explain why some of the biggest specimens like the Brachiosaurus thrived throughout the dinosaur's reign. Caterpillars In a direct fight, caterpillars would not stand a chance against any dinosaur. However, Stanley Flanders proposed that larvae of early moths and butterflies could have denuded the landscape, leading to herbivore starvation and extinction. However, there's no evidence for a sudden spike in caterpillar populations causing mass extinction, and caterpillars and dinosaurs had coexisted for millions of years. Volcanic activity, massive volcanic eruptions, particularly from the Deccan Traps in India, released large amounts of volcanic gases, such as sulfur dioxide, into the atmosphere. These emissions led to climate change including cooling due to sulfuric aerosols and later warming due to increased CO2 levels. The timing of the Deccan Traps eruptions aligns closely with the KPG boundary, suggesting a potential role in the extinction event. Aliens A speculative theory suggesting that aliens caused dinosaur extinction. However, as with all alien theories, this theory lacks scientific evidence and is considered purely fictional. Dinosaur farts. Much like death by aliens, the idea that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction was never an actual scientific hypothesis. The notion is a misconstrued interpretation of recent research speculating on sauropod methane production and its potential impact on climate and extinction. However, there's no evidence to support this theory as a significant factor in dinosaur extinction. Changes in sea level. Fluctuations in sea levels could have altered the distribution of habitats and affected climate patterns. This environmental change could have led to stress for dinosaurs and other organisms dependent on coastal areas. Geological data indicates regressions and transgressions of shallow seas during the late Cretaceous, providing evidence for sea level changes. Egg-eating, proposed by George Wieland, 
This theory suggests that dinosaurs consuming too many eggs, particularly those of large sauropods, may have contributed to their extinction. However, there's a lack of evidence to support widespread egg predation as a significant factor in mass extinction events. Pathological shells, H.K. Urban and colleagues, propose that disorders in dinosaur eggshells, such as multiple layers or pathological thinning, could have contributed to their extinction. Either situation was lethal. Multi-layered eggs could have suffocated developing dinosaurs, while thin eggs easily broke or dehydrated the embryos. However, this theory is based on local evidence gathered in France and Spain, and does not seem to fit for other dinosaur eggs around the globe at the time. Supernova, Wallace Tucker and Dale Russell proposed that a nearby supernova explosion could have caused catastrophic climate change, leading to dinosaur extinction. However, there's no direct evidence to support this hypothesis. Which one of these theories do you believe is the most plausible? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. Cheers.